Hello and welcome to Let's Play Mystical Ninja Part 11. Um, we're getting ready to start uh, with the Ghost Toys Castle. So save that sign and I lied. We're actually not going to start Ghost Toys Castle right now. We're actually going back. Because I have a little, like, two minute journey I need to go on for a fortune doll. And if I don't do it now, I'm going to forget it, so... We're going to go right now, but don't worry, we're going to get right back to uh, Ghost Toys Castle as soon as we're done. I promise. Uh, Fully Poke Village, yep. Thanks to uh, Ibisumaru's shrinking ability, we can now get a hidden fortune doll in Fully Poke Village. As soon as this annoying dragon scene will end. Alright. Now, there are like these uh, stacks of like uh, grain or something, I don't know. But, there are like little holes under them that you can walk through with Mini Ibisumaru. And that's where one of our fortune dolls are hiding. It's not in this area. I think it's in this next room. Yeah, right over Those are, no, right here. Right back here. In the middle one. And under here, you can find a fortune doll. I really don't know what these things are. They're just like uh, little tunnel things. But whatever they are, um, I'm just gonna cut this next dragon part out because you don't really need to see it. Just to eliminate some of the repeti repetitive. Mm, how am I gonna word this? Just to make it less repetitive. That sounds good. All right. Ghosts in Ghost Toys Castle. Yay. Now this part really confused me when I was little. This is the only time in the game you ever use your flaming money. You just throw flaming money at them and they light up and that door opens. But the game never tells you to go get the flaming money, so you never really know what to do. And this is the annoying crane game. I'll show you later. It's not turned on right now. We have to get that switch. But it's on the other side of a gate. Oh, how I loathe, loathe this game when I was a kid. It was awful. There were so many confusing parts and I just didn't know where to go. Because I didn't know how to read. And that's always important when you're playing games with words. And there's another fortune doll up there, which I fucked up. What are these white things? They're like heads on a stick. But anyway, on top of that statue thing, there is our next fortune doll. Get rid of that guy. I hope I make this. Alright. Another fortune doll. So, technically, if you wanted to just like play through the game and get all the fortune dolls, if you followed this LP, uh, you'd get them all because I'm planning on collecting every single one. I have every intention of getting all of them. Some are a little tricky, but not too bad. Uh, I, th I think it's definitely harder than getting all the heart pieces in Zelda. Or easier, easier, not harder. Boo. You call yourself a ninja? Mr. Elephant, which is basically the dungeon map. 
But we won't really need it, will we? Because I'm just so badass, I know where I'm going at all times. Not really. There are actually a lot of times where I have no idea what I'm doing, but the dungeon map doesn't really help us anyway. And if you look over there, you'll find some food, which I could use right now. Missing a couple hearts. If you're playing this seriously, meh, you won't need that food. You won't lose any life. Now, this room is kind of strange, because it introduces what I like to call the little chicken nugget enemies. Um, but even stranger than that, there's just like this little monument in the middle of the room. I'll show you after I get the key. Um, there's like this elevator and everything, and they just took the time to put it in this game. But it doesn't serve any purpose at all. Like, there's no reason for this to be here. There's no fortune doll. There's nothing. It's just like, I, I could never figure it out. I mean, it's not even like there's a fortune doll in this area, and there's nothing really else to do in this game or collect, so it's just there for nothing. But whatever. Now that we've got a key, we can unlock this door and continue our journey. And in this room, we'll find another fortune doll, which will be... And we're going to need to get another key, but I don't think it's in this room. We're going to have to do a little exploring. There's another door to the right of us. But right now, I'm trying to get a golden fortune doll, which is a little tricky. See that all the way over there? Let's walk across this tightrope. Very carefully. Without sucking. And you get it. And when you get a golden fortune doll, your heart, your strength gauge is immediately increased by one. So it's like defeating a boss in Zelda and getting a heart container. So now we've got, I believe, um, half of our health bar full. We still have another whole row to complete, so there's still a decent amount of fortune dolls for us to collect. Another elevator. But this time, the elevator actually leads to something. A little underground tunnel. That will take us back to the crane game room. And we'll be on the other side of the gate, where we can activate the switch and play the annoying crane game. No, I hate the crane game. It's such a dumb game. You need it. But the worst part of it is you need it so you can win a wind-up camera. Why do you need a wind-up camera, you ask? You'll find out soon enough. There's the, um, abnormally large power switch, a key, and a fortune doll, all wrapped in one room. Oddly enough, the switch was designed so that it could only be activated by ninjas. With jumping and abilities and such, it's not like a normal switch. Anyway. I'd like to think I'm good at this game, but I'm really not. See, yeah, see, I'm not gonna get it this time. Okay, or maybe I will. Usually it takes much longer than that. But, all right, that's cool. See, there were times when I used to play this where I'd have it like exactly on top of it and it wouldn't pick it up, but just now it wasn't even close, and it still grabbed it, so whatever, but 
Maybe Sumaru. Yeah, since this looks pretty useless, we're just gonna give him the wind-up camera. And it's actually really not very useful at all. Um, but it, it, it loses its use after this particular dungeon. See, he got the wind-up camera. And the hammer and mini Abisumaru. So, now Ye is getting kind of shafted with only a flute and a sword. But, this, uh, see, the thing about the wind-up camera is it doesn't even let you take pictures. Here, I'll show you what it does before the episode ends. You can... It actually, like, lets you be able to hit ghosts. It's pretty cool. But this is the only real place where there are ghosts. There's one more. But anyway, I'll see you next time.